The plugin chainer also enables you to automate certain processes and effects. In the simplest case, you might use automation to turn an effect on at a specific point in your project and back off at a later point. Close the open data window. Open the file automation.wave. Play the file and notice where the narrator says the words here and there. Automating effects makes it possible to do things like adding echoes here and more echoes there in your file. We'll add the simple delay plugin and then automate it to add echoes to those two words without affecting the rest of the file. The plugin chainer should still be open from our last discussion, but if it's not, click the Open Plugin Chainer button. Click the Add Plugins to Chain button. In the Plugin Chooser Tree view, click the Automatable folder. The list view now shows all of the plugins that you can automate. Select Simple Delay and click the Add button. Then click OK. In the Parameter Control area, select Echo Chamber from the preset drop down list. Preview the file to hear that right now the echoes take place throughout the entire file. Automating, automating effects, effects automating makes it possible to do things, things like adding echoes here and more and more echoes there. there, 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 there in your file. In your if you can't see the parameter chooser area of the plugin chainer, click the Show Parameter Chooser button. This shows all of the automatable parameters of the plugin. In our simple example, we just want to turn the effect on and off a couple of times, so select the Bypass checkbox. Notice that an envelope line runs across the very bottom of the data window. We'll use this envelope to turn the effect on and off. Point to the node at the very beginning of the envelope and notice that the tooltip shows that Bypass is false at that point, which means that the echoes are on, as you heard. Right-click the envelope at marker 01 and choose Add Point from the menu. Now, drag the line segment between the two points all the way up to the top of the data window where bypass is true. Place additional points at the other markers. Drag the line segments between markers 2 and 3 all the way up and do the same for the last segment of the line. Process the file. Use the Data Windows Play button to play from the beginning of the file and hear the results. Automating effects makes it possible to do things like adding echoes here, 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 and more echoes there, 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 in your file. Effects automation brings a whole new aspect to your audio processing ability.